Hey everybody, Atlas here again. Um, so Q4 came out yesterday and we uh, celebrated it by doing a buddy fight video. Not of uh, my choosing, but whatever. We're Nexus, we do weird shit. So um, I did a case split for uh, Q4 for Royal Paladin stuff just because I wanted to be able to play something in the meantime. Um, so I put the deck together and here's a list. It's also budget because you do not use Teen of Knights Alfred and he's terrible and I'll get to why later. So uh, starting off we have Glime because you have to. So when you ride on top of him you draw a card. Negates your ride minus. Cool, I guess. Nothing nothing much to say about that. It's fine. Uh, three copies, or sorry, four copies of Soul Saber Dragon. So uh, he's got the Force Gift Marker, uh, and then when he attacks, you can Soul Charge, and then also during your main phase, you can Soul Blast 5 and uh, give up to 6 of your units, so your whole board, plus 15k. So this is your finisher and the ideal ride in the deck. Uh, it, you know, it, there's not really much to say about it. The fact that he helps fuel herself? She helps fuel herself? Is it a girl? I don't know. Anyway, um... It's the most important card in the deck, and everything in the deck either uh, helps fuel it or doesn't not help fuel it. So that that was my problem with Blaster Blade and King of Knights and everything. Um, I'll go into detail at the end of the video. Uh, four copies of Star Drive Dragon. So it has the Force Gift, and then also on Rear Guard, when it attacks a Vanguard, if you have three or more Rear Guards, it gets plus 5k to end the battle. You can pretty much put anything here. If you want to put Alfred and run the Blaster Blade, cool. I'm not. I'm not going to stop you. But if you aren't like planning to stick with Royals like I was, or you, you know, or you just think the whole Blaster Blade thing is stupid, also fine. You can run Gigantech Charger. I think his name was in place of this. Like you know, kill a couple copies for the Charger. It really doesn't matter. Uh, I ended up keeping this as the backup because you can at least get a force gift out of the deal whereas charger needs you to re-ride and if you had to ride this in the first place then chances are you don't have something else to ride so um that was that four copies of uh high dog breeder akane so when ridden or called you can uh counter blast surge your deck for a pawn roll call it to rear and shuffle and also during the battle that she's boosted by a high beast, she gains 3k. So this is the ideal turn 2 ride because you can uh, immediately get a column of her in Pondle and then be hitting for 21 or 26k. And uh, yeah, helps build your board. Um, I like that Pondle is at, at the very least not tied to her specifically. But uh, it does kind of start that she can only call Pondle, whereas the old Akane uh, could call high beasts in general but chances are you're gonna get like two off during the game and then just draw into the rest because that's usually what happens to me um three copies of sage of the arts jowron so uh much like star drive dragon when he attacks a vanguard if you have three or more rear guards it's plus 5k to end the battle so nice straight uh straightforward simple effect um you know, not much else to it. Good card. Uh, three copies of uh, Fundal. Funadol. So uh, when it attacks a Vanguard, it, if, it, if it's boosted, you can Counter Blast, Soul Charge 1, and he gets plus 5k to land a battle. So this helps directly fuel your Soul Saver plays. And then uh, the reason I had him at 3 and not at 4 was because uh, I found the deck just slightly too Counter Blast heavy. And I would recommend running a fourth Jowron in place of the next card that's about to come, but I didn't buy a second trial deck, so I just don't have a fourth Jowron. So if you have one, use it. But otherwise, uh, I have one copy of Galatine because uh, he's 10k shield, and that's fine. So let's see, four copies of Knight Squire Allen. So it comes in the TD. Uh, you know, when he's placed, you can uh, on rear, you can counterblast one, call a card from hand that's less or equal to your vanguard in grade. And if you do that, you draw a card, and Alan gets plus 3k till end of turn. So this uh, allows you to fill your board like Royal Paladin wants to do, and 
get rewarded for it. And by that I mean you don't lose any cards in hand basically by committing to the field with Alan. So that's good. And then on top of that, you also run four copies of Little Sage Marin, which are almost the same thing. So Marin still is uh, when something's placed in the same column as him. Her? Him? One of those two. Uh, you counterblast, draw a card, and Marin gets three two till end of turn. So they, they're basically the same card, but uh, Marin uh, encourages you to, you know, like let's say you're playing against like Nova Grappler and they keep picking off your rears. Marin at least helps you kind of recoup your resources on that, whereas Alan has a one-time use. At the same time, Alan doesn't need to call to the same column. So one thing I like to do is call Alan behind Vanguard and then call the thing I'm going to call with him like up in the front left, right, or on the sides. So uh, they're both very flexible and both pretty good. Use them, all that good stuff. Uh, I mentioned this earlier, four copies of Pungle. So... Uh, when he's placed on rear, if you have another unit in the same column, you have Soul Charge, and then if the card you Soul Charge was a trigger, uh, Pondle gets plus 5k for the turn. So, uh, this at least helps you feel better when you Soul Charge a heal trigger. Um, but also, it helps fuel your Soul Saver plays, and, uh, you know, with uh, if called by Akane, that's a 21 or 26k column, like I mentioned, which is still pretty damn good. Not like hitting quite the numbers it wants to but you know that's that's vanguard you compromise or whatever uh two copies of uh radical knight anal so this can literally be anything you want want it to be the pony sure go for it i i had the the lion main stallion for a while and then i'm trying this out for a while and so far it's working pretty good because uh like it if you com commit you know with Let's say you don't draw into Marin's or uh, Allen's. It kind of hurts. So at least with by playing with this on a four circle, you can at least put some pressure on the opponent's vanguard, whereas Lionman Stallion, uh, he wants to be a booster, and it, it, it's just less optimal for me at the moment. But literally, do what you want. It, it, it's very flexible despite the small card pool. So, um, four copies of... Adrisol made in the lane because it's a heal and they're 20k shields now and cool. Um, eight crits. Oh my god. There we go. Eight crits. 15k shields. They're all vanillas. That's fine. This is standard. It's going to be boring for a while. Uh, four copies of Flash Shield Assault. So these are your draw triggers and your PGs. Um, I highly recommend getting these because it allows more flexibility in your grade one lineup, but if you gotta save money, I totally understand. The good thing is the uh, the TDs come in the trial deck, the grade one T or grade one PGs come in the trial deck. So you can get that for a lot cheaper and then just run the Margal draw traders instead, and that's completely fine. I do think these are objectively better though, because I don't know if anyone out there has ever gotten a draw trigger off a draw trigger, but like it hurts. This doesn't hurt as much. So, yeah, that was the that was the deck list build I have for a uh, standard Royal Paladin. It is uh, a lot cheaper than having to do Blaster Blade Alfred. My problem with Blaster Blade is that to get his crit ability, you need to commit four card or you know commit four rear guards in a turn. So let's say the turn uh, you know the game is progressing like normal. You take one damage, so you have one counter blast to work with when you ride Blaster Blade. So that gives you one usage of Alan or Marin, or you can use Blaster Blades, you know, kill a thing, but why would you? So uh, that means that you recoup one card off of Marin or Alan, but at the same time, you still lose those cards in hand to commit with later. And especially if you're playing against Kagura, they, they live off of back row killing. So you're basically putting a board in the back and then one in the front for Blaster Blade to get his crit, but then like, for what? They pick off a rear guard, now you have a back row full of, I'm guessing, bubkiss, and then you have to kind of come back from that while they're, you know, stacking the imaginary gifts and punching your teeth in. So that's not very good. And then, uh, you know, Kingdom Knights Alfred, yes, you get a free Blaster Blade with a Counter Blast, and yes, the power increase is free. I get it. But Blaster Blade himself is, for the most part, a vanilla, and if you're trying to finish with Soul Saver, using Blaster Blade or Alfred early 
actively takes away from your end goal. So why would you want to use those? Every, like I said, every card in the deck does what it does for the sake of Soul Saver. That's that's my like hypothesis on why uh, the Alfred Blaster Blade thing sucks in standard. I'm not saying premium. It's it's good in premium. Use in premium, but uh, just you know, I picked a winning uh, win condition and I'm sticking with it at least until Tachikaze comes out, and then Gabe and I are gonna. Uh, be like, this is my build. No, this is my build. And then go back and forth and he's going to win because he's gay. So, yeah. Uh, that was the deck build. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.